It's a beautiful day in southern Nevada. There have been some comments on one of my previous videos as to what kind of antenna this is. So I'm going to spend a few minutes and try and clear that up. All right, the first thing we need to do is to describe the problem. There seems to be some contention between dipole and collinear. So we need to, uh, the first thing we need to do is define, define those two words. So obviously we'll start with dipole, which simply means di meaning two and pole meaning element. So a two element antenna. So typically that would be something that would look like this and we'd feed it with a piece of coax. Very common antenna. That's a dipole. Now let's do collinear. Collinear is a little bit more difficult. Co simply means more than one. Think of coexist cooperate, etc. So co is not singular, it's just more than one. Linear, well that's that's a little bit easier. That's just in a straight line. So if something's linear, it's in a straight line. Okay, once again, a dipole is an antenna with two poles, di and pole, and a collinear antenna is a antenna with more than one radiating element and the requirement is that it has to be in a single line. So let's start with a simple dipole. And this one is cut for GMRS frequencies because the antenna in question in the video that got the comments just happens to be a GMRS antenna. So let's go ahead and check SWR on this antenna just to make sure that it's good. And yeah, we're looking pretty good. Less than 1.5 to 1 across the entire band. Now we'll go ahead and model it. And you'll see that it has pretty good gain. 6 decibels. This is a vertical dipole. It's up about 12 feet. And this is the classic dipole current pattern. And you can see it's fat in the middle. It's thin at the ends. This is the current pattern. And we're feeding it in the middle. This is a classic dipole. So this is a single dipole. This meets the definition of a dipole, but is it a collinear antenna? Well, it doesn't appear to be more than one current pattern here, so it looks like it's a single antenna. So dipole, yes. Collinear, no. Next antenna. So this is the GMRS J-pole that I built, previous video. And uh, let's go ahead and check the SWR on that one. More than adequate, less than 1.5 to 1 everywhere. Let's go ahead and model it. And you can see, pretty good gain. It's a J-pole. It's up about 12 feet. It's got 6 decibels, 6 dBi gain. And here's our current patterns for this antenna. Now you can ignore all this because this is the matching section. This is only to get the impedance of 50 ohms for our feed line. But up here we can see this current pattern and it looks strikingly like the previous model, doesn't it? It's a single dipole. So fat in the middle, thin on the ends, but this time we're feeding it from an end. Feed point in this case doesn't matter. It's what is the antenna? And this is clearly a dipole. So dipole, yes. Collinear, no. Next model. Now in the ham world, when you think of dipole, this is the classic dipole, or collinear dipole that exists. This is a collinear J-pole. And the only difference between the model and the real antenna is typically these wires would be curved around the element to make them less conspicuous, but for modeling purposes we just leave them straight. So let's go ahead and model this. 
and you can see it's got pretty good gain and once again our current patterns we can ignore this this is just our maxing, matching section and we see one dipole so fat in the middle thin on the ends uh, look up here we have another dipole so fat in the middle thin on the ends it's directly in line with the first dipole collinear antenna so dipole yes collinear yes and the last model This is the antenna in question that's causing all the, the controversy. So this is a high gain three half wave dipole that we displayed in the beginning of the video. And we'll go ahead and check the SWR on this one. This is important because we want to know where it resonates at. And once again we can see it's resonant all over the GMRS band. We'll go ahead and model it. You can see the very good gain, 8.23 dBi gain, and almost the same on the back side. And we can see our current patterns. So down here we can see one clear dipole, fat in the middle, thin on the ends. And up here, looky here, we have another dipole, fat in the middle, thin on the ends. And is this in a straight line? Well, clearly it is. So dipole, yes. Collinear, also yes. As always, thanks for watching.